The Taiwanese government has accused China of mounting a huge misinformation campaign to try to influence the outcome of the island's presidential election in a little over two weeks' time. Taiwan's ruling Democratic Progressive Party is attempting to win an unprecedented third consecutive term. The party is disliked by Beijing, which claims Taiwan as its own. The DPP's presidential and vice presidential candidates have both been banned from traveling to China from Taiwan. Rupert Winfield Hayes now reports. It's 6 a.m. and this fighter base on the coast of Taiwan is already a hive of activity. On the apron, Mirage 2000 fighter jets from Taiwan's rapid reaction squadrons. Their job to meet any incoming threat to Taiwan's airspace. These Taiwanese fighter jets being scrambled behind me here are heading out into the Taiwan Strait to confront Chinese aircraft that are coming across the strait and probing Taiwan's airspace. This is now happening multiple times every day. These pictures are from Chinese television showing their fighter jets, and that down below is the coast of Taiwan. Just over the horizon, there is another game of cat and mouse. Xu Ray puts up a long antenna to eavesdrop on the radio traffic coming from China's Navy. That's the Chinese Navy talking to the Taiwanese Navy saying, your territorial waters that you claim do not exist, that the People's Republic of China is the only legitimate government of China and that Taiwan is an inseparable part of China. They tell us the Taiwan Strait is peaceful, he says. Then why are there Chinese ships and aircraft harassing us all the time? How is that peaceful? Back in Taipei, the former head of Taiwan's armed forces says China's tactics are designed to intimidate the island's voters and send a warning to its allies. I think the uh, China is sending a very strong signal to the uh, United States, even the Japan. This is the our area, our territorial area, so I can do whatever I want. But they also, uh, in the meantime, they can use this kind of aggression to make Taiwanese people scared and make Taiwanese people capitulate. As polling day approaches, there is little sign the intimidation is working. <laughs> At this rally, supporters of the front runner to win Taiwan's presidency told me they would rather fight than capitulate to Beijing. I'm very worried, but I'm not afraid because I will be volunteer to be a soldier if they invent our beautiful country. If someday we may be war or, or something else, I'm not afraid because I think I'm Taiwanese. I need to protect my, my country. On the coast, the jets are returning from yet another patrol. Taiwan has fewer than 300 fighter jets, China more than 2,000. Whoever wins Taiwan's presidential race will face a military balance tipping ever more in China's favor. Rupert Wingfield Hayes, BBC News in Xinju, Taiwan.